Hey everyone, it's Colin here. Hey, this week I've got something really cool for you. We're gonna look at some localized adjustments inside of Camera Raw with filter brushes. So one of the things that was added inside of Camera Raw 9 was actually the ability to brush away gradients or localized adjustments. So where we see things like the radial and gradients and things like that, we now have a brush tool so we can actually add to that or take away from it. So let's have a look and see what kind of creative things we can do with it right now inside of Camera Raw. So here's an image right now that I shot in Nelson, Nevada. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some of the filters in the local adjustment brushes, specifically the gradient tool. So here we are, we're inside of Camera Raw and I've opened this raw file up. And what we're gonna do is just adjust the exposure a little bit. We can kind of play around and sort of set this image to look nice, but notice if I wanna bring it down and really make this sky really pop and the ground sort of looks good, but it's starting to get a little dark in some of these other areas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it to about there, which is pretty good for that barn. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the gradient tool here, and now I'm just gonna hold the shift key to constrain it, and I'm just gonna drag it down. Notice how the shift key will constrain it to 45 degree increments, well, 30 degree, actually. So we're gonna drag it down to about here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click and drag this down a little bit. And so what we're doing, let me hold the shift key once again to constrain it, is we're creating this gradient. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna drop it down a little bit. We're gonna take the exposure, and drop it down. Notice as I do that, let's bring it down a little bit more. Let's take the whole thing down. There we go. And notice how I can just bring that gradient all the way up or down. And so we've really darkened this guy up significantly. But notice what it's done too is it's also darkened up the building and it's also darkened up the areas of the truck that we don't want. So what we can do is we can go and choose the brush option then under the brush, we can hit the plus or the minus. And if we hit the minus, this actually enables us to paint away. So what we're gonna do is make the brush a little smaller. So I'm just gonna grab the left bracket key and just drop that down a little bit. And uh, we're gonna turn the flow all the way up. Feather, keep it where it is. Let's increase the size a little bit more. There we go. And now as I paint in here, notice what it's doing is it's actually painting out those areas of the mask. So what we're doing is we're um, excluding that. Now, if you go over there, what you wanna do is you wanna undo, because normally what I would do in this situation there is I would normally just change it to a plus brush. And let me show you the, uh, the overlay here. Let's turn the mask on so you can kind of see what's going on. And by doing that though, if we go to paint it away and touch it up later, it's actually gonna affect this gradient because it's a very, very smooth gradient. So what we wanna do is actually try to be precise this time. So I'm just kind of painting around the edges here and I'm not getting too close to those edges. Let's just kind of paint around the middle there. There we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on auto mask and now I'm gonna get up to the edges there and this should give me a nice clean mask around those edges. Now, the reason I didn't use the auto mask the whole time is because when you've got auto mask on, it's really difficult to paint areas like this. It won't give you a smooth uh, painting area. So the other option you could do is start with a very, very small brush. And let's drop that feather down a little bit. I don't want a soft feather around this area here. And I'm gonna drop my size down even further to a very, very small brush, maybe go up a bit. And now I can just click and paint in there. Notice that. So you can start with the auto mask if you want to get these kind of areas. And notice how it kind of protects it. And I'm just gonna kind of stop there and I'm gonna do the same thing here on a truck. Let's go around the edges of the truck. And uh, we're just going to where that mask finishes. And that's actually looking quite good. So for small areas like this, the auto mask can work or we can turn it off and just go in there to make sure we got these other areas just nicely painted away. So there we go. And let's have a, go a look once again, let's have a look at the mask. Uh, let's turn the mask on so we can see it and we can make it a red color if you want, like a ruby lith, just by clicking on there and changing the color and you can kind of see where that mask went and we painted it out. So there's some other little areas in there we could try and get in there and make it perfect so let's get in there a little bit more and paint up here and you can see how we can do that now to be honest a lot of these little tiny little areas you may not even notice because um you know you kind of whoops went over there 
kind of looking at it visually. So here's a little tip. When we do that and I have to undo it, sometimes I want to just take little strokes like this and then stop. And then that means now if I want to undo this later, so we're doing the other side, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to undo all my work. I'm just going to undo that last step. So let's just do those. Oops, see, like now, if I undo, it just undoes that. It doesn't undo the whole thing that I did earlier on. So once again, it's easy to go over when we're doing this. So let's go up here and just clean up some of that uh, shadow area. And you can kind of see how we're getting rid of that mask there. Now you could try and get in here. I got to tell you, it's going to be pretty tough though to get that. But let's give it a shot. There we go. We went over at the very last second. So let's go here just gently and I'm going to stop there. Go there, stop there and maybe just tap there. Nice. And we went over there. So you can see it's, uh, it can be quite tough to be in there and get really precise, but you can do it just by uh, taking your time and being careful. So a lot of this stuff in here really doesn't matter though. Let's turn off that mask and you can see it's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another gradient and I'm going to drag it up from the bottom. So I'm just going to go up here. So what we want to do is choose new. And now we're just going to click from the bottom and now we can add a second gradient up there. And we can just kind of play around that. Maybe we're going to cover some of those highlights in there. And we're just kind of just adding a little bit of um, interest to the to the ground there to kind of uh, draw our eye back into here and not have it so bright, this bright area of kind of nothing here. Now, when we've got it there, if we want, we can paint these areas as well. I'm going to grab the brush now. And then what I'm going to do with these exact same settings, it's going to grab there. We're going to do the plus brush this time. We're going to turn off the auto mask. And I'm going to keep the feather all the way up. Let's drop down the size and we're going to drop the flow down to quite low. And by doing that, all I can do is I can just gently start to just kind of darken up some of these other areas. Maybe even bring the flow a little bit lower. And you can just kind of dodge and burn in there a little bit. See how I'm just gently, gently going in here, just kind of darkening off those brighter areas. Let's go in there. And... Uh, that's more or less what we're doing to complete this piece. So when we're finished, we're going to turn off the gradient by simply choosing the hand tool or one of the other ones. And now we can maybe open up the exposure just a little bit to make it look a little bit more natural. Let's do a little highlight recovery, maybe open up the shadows just a little bit. Set our black point, set our white point, give it a little touch of clarity perhaps. And there we go. We've been able to make that adjustment there um, using these filters here or the gradients, the brushes on the uh, on the filter. So let's have a look, and we're going to look at this uh, if we want to look at it before and after. Let's have a look here. We can actually just hit the P key, and it shows us before, and then the P key will show us after. So there we go. That's the filter brushes. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hit that subscribe button right now, and then you can subscribe to our channel, and then you'll know when I release new videos. We've got tons of them that we've put up already, and we've got a lot more coming. So hit the like button as well. Tell your friends about it. Add some comments. Uh, join in the conversation right here at the cafe. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. That's photoshopcafe.com.